Good evening. A Golden Knights coach testing positive for COVID-19, adding to what has been a very memorable night for the team. Thanks for joining us here at 11 o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. The Vegas Golden Knights facing some unique obstacles in tonight's game against the Blues. Not only were they facing former champions, they had an entirely different lineup of coaches. Sports director Chris Matthews is here now with a shakeup at T-Mobile Arena. Chris? All right, thank you guys. Yeah, this is a first. And a first for an entire staff in the NHL to be isolated because of COVID concerns. Might not ever happen again. Perhaps it could again with this COVID stuff. Peter DeBoer and his group giving way to general manager Kelly McCrimmon and the Silver Knight staff. It had been a long time since McCrimmon had been behind the bench, but called upon to help the Knights beat the Blues. After Vegas scores in the first year, Blues come back with three unanswered, two of those by former Knight David Perron. Robin Leonard a little shaky early on here in net, but they could have blown this team out. Listen to that. They hit the post six times. You hear that ping? Vegas playing catch up. It's Max Patch already scoring three times. The hat trick for Patches, his seventh career hattie. It was shaping up to be a magical night, perhaps to come back and win this thing. Well, almost. In regulation, they forced to go to a shootout. And St. Louis scores, now forcing Alex Tuck to keep hopes alive, but he mishandles the puck. Blues get the 5 4 win. Vegas had 46 shots on goal compared to 25 for the Blues. Shot attempts. Vegas clearly dominated 83 to 48, but they come up short on the board with the coaching staff that had never worked a game together. Uh, it's not a case where the entire staff tested positive. There was uh, most that didn't, uh, quite frankly, but the protocol, um, you know, is, is such that you, uh, you know, pull those uh, people from the group. We're fortunate there's been no positive tests for. Uh, for players. All right, because of the uh, positive test and the precautions, the night shut down City National for tomorrow. There will be no practice. Now, these same two teams meet again on Thursday, and according to McCrimmon, there is no indication Thursday's game will be postponed. You'll hear from the Knights on this odd night coming up in sports.